Hello Libras, welcome to your mid-January. So you've got a really, really interesting um, spread. Very good cards, but um, there are some things here that you want to be a little bit mindful about. So um, the first thing I want to start off with is your career. I feel like a lot of you are in a very, very good emotional space when it comes to your current job that you're in. I feel like you're no longer... I'm um, going to have to worry about, you know, people looking over your shoulders, micromanaging you. I feel like you're at a point where things are, you know, you're in the flow of things. So you're able to dictate your own hours. You you are getting, you know, all the technical details. So work is flowing in a very, very natural, in a very stable, in a very harmonious way. So it looks really good. Income. Um, earning capabilities are also stabilizing itself and overall I don't feel like a busy energy where you know you're like grapple grappling with multiple projects at once I feel like you're doing things at a more leisure pace mainly because things are just not that busy on the work environment but additionally I just feel that you have a lot more control over what you can't what you choose to do and the projects that you can turn down so things are looking very good and stable and just harmonious overall in the work environment there there isn't strife I feel that um, so so that's for some of you who you know have been dealing with um, either dealing with a lot of things absorbing a lot of technical details in the work environment I feel like things are settling down you know what you're supposed to do and you're kind of like in the zone at work and then for others of you and this is something I want you to be careful about because you know there's always a flip side to that that um, to certain aspects when they show up in the spread for others of you who might not have been on top of things like you were supposed to so that means you know um, committing time theft so that means pretty much like not doing your work when you're supposed to be at work or not doing your fair share of the work that is expected of you I feel that you want to be a little bit careful because there is a supervisor or there is somebody that is looking on and they are counting like they're writing things down they're documenting things so that's something you want to be really careful about um, I want to say like if this is a problem that happened in um, September last year 2016 uh, it's gonna come in again okay it's gonna happen again and it's specifically deals with time theft that means doing something at work like taking you know personal calls and things like that on the work environment that you're not supposed to so if it happened last September I feel that it's gonna happen again so be very very careful about not getting caught and not having you know a reprimand from a supervisor okay and then on the other hand we have the love situation it looks really good as well you have here the fool which means you're starting over and you have the ace of cups which basically means somebody is coming through and they're making a gesture of love a declaration of love or something um, for you but I feel that you're turning away from this offer and you're going back to somebody uh, from the past if you are dealing with a water sign so this is a Pisces Cancer Scorpio you want to be just a little bit careful that you're not fooled this time around okay so I feel like this is somebody that might have been in your past they might have um, you might have left them behind they're coming back into the picture you might have started dating somebody new you're not completely serious but you know you, you have uh, options but they're saying rather than going ahead into the future and exploring these other options that are made available to you I feel like you're going back to the person from the past and the person from the past they're kind of insincere that's what I'm feeling here I feel like they might have given you the runaround you might have asked them a lot of questions in the past and I feel like they um, they they were very evasive like they didn't give you the whole story and they were really good at turning a situation around and and you know like deflecting your questions so that's something you want if that sounds familiar be careful with this person they are manipulating the situation and you want to be very careful okay because I feel like I, I feel like we always have our reasons for really trusting somebody and believing somebody but if this seems like a cyclical pattern if it has happened before then I and you're still going back to it it just doesn't make sense and I, I feel like you need to 
you, you need some straight answers from this person and they're not giving that to you. So I don't understand why you would go back to it. So, you know, just keep your wits about you when it comes to this love situation. Okay, explore new options is what they're saying. The past is laid to rest for a reason. There's no need to go back to it because I feel like you were being fed. You were given the runaround. You were being fed some insincerity, like half-truths in the past. So just explore new options. Those are made available to you. It looks very good. And, you know, the, the new people won't be like the old. So it's, it's best for you to move forward, okay? Others of you, um, I feel like there has been a little bit of anger and, and resentment with somebody from the past. And I feel like this person knows how to push your buttons. And this person is trying to like, I, I feel like the way they communicate is very, very indirect. It's like, it, it's almost like they know how to push your buttons. They send you like a weird text message just to keep that channel of communication um, flowing between the two of you. And then I feel like you fall into it and then you engage in a verbal, you know, debate with them. And that's exactly what they want. They, they want to get a rise out of you. They want to, you know, you to respond in, in with, with strong feelings towards them. And then I feel like it's just, you know, a very, um, it, it's just this circular pattern that I feel happening with this person from the past. So don't give it any more attention. Just move on with your life, okay? We are ending up here with the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is sadness, regrets. So I feel that if you're going back to a situation from the past, that's what it's leading to. So explore the new options that you have rather than succumbing to this old pattern from the past, okay? On the work front and on the career front too, be very, very careful. Do what you're supposed to do and um, make sure that... I just keep seeing time theft. I feel like somebody is taking personal phone calls when they're supposed to be at work or they're like, you know, taking like a very, very long break when they're supposed to be clocked in. So I feel things like that happening and I don't know if it's somebody that you're dealing with in your work environment or if this energy is coming from you, but I feel like somebody is going to get reprimanded. So just be very, very careful. And uh, if this sounds familiar, you know, um, mitigate the effects because with the Five of Cups, it deals with a situation where somebody is very, very angry. There will be angry th words thrown about and I feel that you're dealing with the, the, the kind of like shame, disappointment and things like that. Okay, so don't, um, it doesn't have to happen for the next two weeks. Just try to mitigate the effects of this by being where you're supposed to be doing what you're supposed to be and the past situation if you're dealing with that specifically going back to it is going to give you this um, empty handed type of a victory so just be careful here okay so you have some very very good cards but I feel like you're not looking in the right direction so I just want you to direct redirect your attention into you know to really grab the opportunities and the blessings that are made available to you in your environment, okay? So I will be back in February. Take care of yourselves.